Yo, what's up everybody? You can already guess from the beautiful view where we are. It's Casey from Traveler's Top 10 coming at you live from the city by the bay, San Francisco. Today, we're diving headfirst into the top 10 things you absolutely have to do when you're in this incredible city. Get ready to explore hidden gems, soak in breathtaking views, and experience San Francisco like a true local. Watch the video until the end. You won't regret it. Let's do this. First up, we're hitting the most iconic landmark in all of San Francisco, the Golden Gate Bridge. Pictures do not do this thing justice. The sheer scale of it is mind-blowing. This bridge is an engineering marvel, a testament to human ingenuity. From up here, you've got panoramic vistas of the entire bay. Alcatraz Island, the city skyline. It's like something straight out of a postcard. Whether you walk, bike, or drive across, a visit to the Golden Gate Bridge is an absolute must. Next, we're heading down to Fisherman's Wharf, the heart and soul of San Francisco's waterfront. The smell of fresh seafood hits you the second you arrive, and you're surrounded by the sounds of street performers, seagulls, and the bustling crowds. You can't come to Fisherman's Wharf without saying hi to the most famous residents, the sea lions at Pier 39. Grab some clam chowder in a sourdough bread bowl, soak in the atmosphere, and just enjoy the vibe down here at the wharf. All right, guys, time to delve into the darker side of San Francisco's history with a trip to Alcatraz Island. For decades, it was the most notorious prison in America, home to some of the most infamous criminals in history. The boat ride over offers stunning views of the city skyline and the Golden Gate Bridge. Walking through the cell blocks, hearing the stories of the prisoners and the guards, it's both eerie and fascinating. It's a stark reminder of a different time, a different era of American history. You can feel the weight of history pressing down on you. Let's be real, you can't come to San Francisco and not ride a cable car. These things are icons, rumbling up and down the city's hills, providing the most unique way to experience San Francisco. You're literally gliding past colorful Victorian houses, steep streets, and those iconic San Francisco hills. Hold on tight, enjoy the ride, and don't forget to snap some pics along the way. Next up, we're getting our geek on at the Exploratorium. This place is not your average museum. It's a giant playground for your brain, packed with interactive exhibits that make learning fun for all ages. You'll be touching, spinning, building, and experimenting your way through this place. They've got everything from giant bubbles to optical illusions, from earthquake simulators to exhibits that explore the science of sound and light. So unleash your inner child, let your curiosity run wild, and prepare to be amazed at the Exploratorium. All right, guys, time to escape the hustle and bustle of the city with a visit to Golden Gate Park. This place is massive over a thousand acres of gardens, museums, lakes, and even a Japanese tea garden. It's the perfect place to relax, recharge, and soak in some nature. Now, for you shopaholics out there, a trip to San Francisco wouldn't be complete without a visit to Union Square. This place is a shopper's paradise, with department stores, designer boutiques, and everything in between. Even if shopping isn't your thing, Union Square is worth a visit for its vibrant atmosphere, street performers, and beautiful architecture. Okay guys, no trip to San Francisco is complete without snapping a picture of the most Instagrammable houses in the city, the Painted Ladies. These Victorian beauties with their pastel colors and intricate details are like something out of a storybook. It's the perfect spot to snap some pics for the gram, soak in the charm of old San Francisco, and just appreciate the beauty of this city. Now, we already talked about the Golden Gate Bridge, but trust me, you haven't truly experienced this icon until you've walked across it. It's about a mile and a half each way, and the views along the way are simply breathtaking. You're literally walking above the water with the city on one side and the vast Pacific Ocean on the other. Last but not least, we're heading up to Coit Tower, perched atop Telegraph Hill for some of the best panoramic views in all of San Francisco. From up here, you can see everything. The Golden Gate Bridge, Alcatraz, the Bay Bridge, the Transamerica Pyramid. It's all laid out before you like a map. It's the perfect way to end your San Francisco adventure, soaking in the views and reflecting on all the amazing things you've seen and done in this incredible city. 
And that's a wrap on our whirlwind tour of San Francisco's top 10 must-do activities. From iconic landmarks like the Golden Gate Bridge and Alcatraz, to hidden gems like the Exploratorium and Coit Tower, this city has something for everyone. Remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on our next adventure. Until then, keep exploring, keep discovering, and keep living life to the fullest. Peace out.